Hey, what's up guys? Here today to give you an overview of the Alps Extreme Bino Harness. Now if you're here watching this video, you've probably already been looking at this harness. And if you're like me, you like looking at a lot of content on something before you purchase it. And there just wasn't enough content out there for me on this thing, which is why I'm making this video. So I hope I can help you guys who are in the same position as me. So like I said, this is the Alps Bino Harness. Maybe you guys have never even heard of a vinyl harness. I wasn't overly familiar with it when I realized I needed something better to carry my binoculars. So here it is. Let me tell you, it fits so well. I'm about five foot six and a little over 200 pounds right now. And uh, it, but it has so much adjustability. It fits so well. You don't even know you're wearing it. I have the Vortex 10 by 42 binoculars in here, the Crossfires, and you don't even know them compared to that strap around your neck where they feel like heavy binoculars. With it in this harness, you just you just don't feel it. It feels so good. As you can see, the straps run two loops here. So we connect to the pack, which run directly over the shoulders into this meeting point here and then they run back out, down around, into the bottom of the pack here. So the pack doesn't swing or sway from your body. It's just fixed in this position. That 1680 denier ballistic nylon is some fantastic stuff and feels so good. This whole harness here is padded all the way around. Now why I went with this one instead of the Vortex glass pack or the Vortex version is because of the Molly webbing and setup. I think this is a, a better value pack. You get more. I feel like with the Vortex one, even though it's built nice, um, the only reason to choose that would really be for the Vortex name in my opinion. Now I love that all of these straps have these tie down clasps here so you don't have any long dangling straps. Okay, all your straps after adjusted are tucked neatly inside. The harness itself here has one nice pouch. Now I couldn't tell from any videos I watch what kind of size we had here. It's a pretty small little pocket like hardly get three fingers in there. Uh, pretty tiny. You do have this loop here that's just fixed inside and out so you could clip or tie something on there if you'd like I'm not sure if it's really meant for anything this might be a pocket for like a Bic lighter or something like that there's no way you're getting like a, a Cobra walkie-talkie or anything like that in there on this side and this is one of the reasons I chose this pack as well is you have some molly webbing and I have the uh, the matching rangefinder pouch coming for this as well so I can have it all in one unit now no video I watched did a good job of showing this closure here. This is just a hook and this is one piece of line that's doubled over. So you can see you can pull it or loosen it. So that's what gives you the adjustment for bigger binoculars. Okay, And that's also what hooks around there. So you can have it real nice and tight. You can draw it and cinch it down so it's real tight in there. But yeah, that's how that system works. Now let's move on to the inside of the pouch here. You can see this is how my Vortex 10 by 42 crossfires fit. So like a, a 42 mil objective, there's no lot, there's not a whole lot much more room. I would imagine the 50s would fit, but that would really be pushing it to its limit in my opinion. You could fit a longer barreled binocular, but not much bigger around, as you can see. It's nice and snug there. You have this bit of room here, this cutout, which leaves your focus alone. But let's pull out the binoculars here. Okay, now you don't need your covers I've taken the top ones off I've left the bottom ones on for now but you don't need these while you're carrying a pack like this the inside of this bag is all this soft felt which is really nice it's almost like a neoprene that's what it feels like and the bottom is all decked out in that the whole interior so it's gonna be real delicate on your binoculars which is uh, really nice and these caps are kinda like fumbly digging around in there anyway so I'm gonna probably take those off I just wanted to show you guys that you could wear them in there now a really nice added feature with this bag is this front zippered pocket here. Once your binoculars get in there, of course, there's not a whole lot of room. You could fit like your hunting license or, or something like that in there. But what they've included is this little binoculars cleaning, little microfiber cloth, and it's sewed on to an elastic. So how nice is that? 
to include there. I probably wouldn't put anything else in there with this little cleaner just to keep it nice and clean so when you're pulling out you're not pulling other items out there like I said there's not a lot of room so I wouldn't jumble it up with other other items now one of the other outstanding features of this harness are these straps right here they just weave right through the plastic buckles here that are the adjustment buckles and you have plenty of adjustment you see this keeper on here you can slide up everything is very nicely kept so there's nothing dangling but these straps come to two little plastic buckles Okay, so they can undo, but they mount on to your binoculars. So you just weave this other end through the sling attachment on your binoculars, and then they're fixed to your harness. That makes it nice so you don't always need to fit them back in your bag if you're just doing something or you're loading a magazine or something in the meantime or, or holding your gun or, or, or fiddling at something. You don't have to keep them inside. You can still hang them out there for, uh, for brief periods like that and just drop them and know that they're completely safe. Now, of course, you still have those clips there, so if you're gracious enough to lend your binoculars to a buddy, ugh, they're stiff where they're new and they're tiny, but... There they are. You can easily unclip them, pass them along to a buddy, and just clip them on later with no issues at all. So there you have it guys, the Alps Extreme Bino Pack. Um, I hope this video helped you more than all the other ones helped me. Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to know about it, any other specific details that are hard to find online, just message in the comments below and I'll absolutely let you know. Um, everything feels super tough on this harness. It feels great. I've never worn a vinyl, vinyl harness before, but there are no hot spots anywhere. There are no spots where you're adjusting it or trying to move it or it's digging into you. It just fits like your shirt does you just don't even notice it there so I can't see any issues whatsoever it's uh, it's fully adjustable absolutely love it one of those products that you're just uh, really blown away by and that doesn't happen too often but uh, it's always nice when you can get a product come and you're thoroughly thoroughly happy with it thank you guys for watching Hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, tell me about any other options you think are good competitors to this as well. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.